Graphing lines in algebra is pretty easy. It's this whole deal about y equals mx plus b. And you have to, before you even start, you have to be able to like essentially break down this little equation and understand what it means. But basically, m is the slope, okay? And b, this little guy right here, b is the y-intercept, which I get that's confusing already. doesn't make any sense. But here's the deal, okay? If you have a generic equation like this, equation of a line, y equals 2 thirds x minus 5. Before you even get into graphing, we have to be able to quickly spot the slope and y-intercept. So in this case, <coughs> what is your slope? Your slope is the guy in front of the x, not including the x. A lot of times kids will say like, 2 thirds x is my slope. It's not. It's the guy in front of the x. So here, it's obviously 2 thirds is my slope, right? And what is my y-intercept? It's the thing after the x. So in this case, it isn't 5, it's negative 5, okay? So if we graph this, it's actually pretty mellow. You always start at your b, right? So you always start at your y-intercept or your b. If my y-intercept, which literally means where it intercepts the y, remember, x, y, if it intercepts the y at negative 5, you just go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put a huge point. <coughs> so that's where you start. Every single time you start at the y-intercept. So there we are. Now, from the y-intercept, what is my slope? This little two-thirds is a rise over run, right? So in other words, up and over. So I go up two from here and over three. So you go up two, one, two, three, over three. Up two, over three. And then you're done. You just connect these suckers. So it's actually, that was a perfect little connection. It's actually easy. I will show you a couple of curveball ones where I think they like, you know, that you understand why equals x is b, it looks super easy. And then you get a couple that are like pretty misleading, okay? So I'll give them to you in order. So here's one that's a little bit weird. What if they said y equals x plus two, right? And then you're like, okay, so obviously my b, my y-intercept looks like it's two, so I'd go up two, make a big point. But there's no slope. Ryan said it's whatever's in front of the x is my slope and there is no slope. In this case, remember, if there's no coefficient or you know a guy in front of the letter, it's actually one. And that's still misleading because I thought slope was always a fraction. Rise over run, that means it has to be a fraction. This totally is. The number one is obviously can be written as one over one, right? So any whole number is a fraction, it's just over one. So here we go, we go up to now I know my slope is 1 over 1. I go up 1 over 1, boom, and that is perfect. Cool? All right, so let me give you a couple more weird ones, and then you'll be an expert. We haven't done a negative slope yet, so let me do that. Okay, so here's one that's like, you know, maybe a negative slope. So you have y equals negative 3x plus 6, okay? So again, same thing. I always start with, according to Ryan, he told me I always start with, Oh, that's nice. I always start with my y-intercept, right? So I'm going to go up, before I even start this, I'm going to go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So there's my y-intercept. And then from there, my slope is, oh no, I have another situation where I don't have a fraction. This is totally a fraction. It's over 1. But now instead of up and over, it's down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. The biggest mistake on negative slopes is they go down and over this way. And then you mess up. Remember, the, the top is a negative number, so you go down three. The bottom is still positive to the one right. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to teach you the biggest scam in America as far as identifying positive and negative slope. So that's it. That's y equals mx plus b. Quickly, the way you know you have not messed up, if I had y equals 2x plus 5 and I had y equals negative 2x plus 5, the rule, this is my own invention, okay? So you should be pretty stoked that you know me. The way that you know is if you're hiking in this direction, a positive slope always goes uphill. End of story. And a negative slope, again, if I'm going in this direction, always goes downhill. So right away, you can kind of tell which one here is which. If I did one, two, three, four, five right here, definitely this guy is the one going uphill, and this guy, because he's negative, is the one going downhill. So that's it. Y equals mx plus b is easy. Graphing lines are easy if you totally understand um, the m and the b. Take it slow and do it like that and you'll be fine. Remember, if you're struggling in algebra at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School. Pass it there and the credits will be transferred back to you.